I'm me, you're you, and this is our school news. The Dolphin Daily starts soon. It's Wednesday, and it's hump day. It's the day of our second Chromebooks for Parents Night, and the day before Job Jamboree. It's also American Education Week, and we better get right to the news because there is a lot, even more you need to know. Let's start off with information about the meeting for job, I mean, j drama club and the production of Annie Jr. The meeting will take place during seventh period today in Ms. Sweetberg's room. An announcement will be made to release interested students. If you attend, you'll receive audition manuals, information about the characters and stage, and c scenery crew. Do take time to check this out. Tonight, as we have announced for days, it is the second parent Chromebook night. All parents are strongly encouraged to attend this meeting. It's good for everyone if your parents know how to use the Chromebook. Know now, now how to access ParentLink and have a good understanding of the technology you use every day. Get your parents to attend a 5:30 at 5:30 today. Tomorrow is Job Jamboree. Here are a couple of reminders for you. One, dress for success means that gentlemen, gentlemen may wear dress pants, button-up shirts, and a tie or their school uniform. Ladies may wear conservative dresses, skirts, and blouses or dress pants and a blouse or their school uniform. Close-toed close shoes are still required. Imagine that you are going to a business meeting at a bank or formal office. It's not the, it's not the time to wear sequins, spikes, spaghetti straps, and colors, etc. Do you do your best to look like young business professionals? If you have even the tiniest doubt, it would be wise to bring a uniform change of clothing and your book bag. Teachers, a reminder to you, please park in Marino parking lot tomorrow. Remember that showing remember that job jamboree is all about showing you some real job real jobs in our real community and to get you start to start thinking about your future. Dolphin Daily has some student shout outs. We like to say congratulations to Angelina Centron, Adam Carmona for having the highest grade percentage for quarter one in U.S. history. Another huge shout out to Kevin Hansen and Banaje Madison for demonstrating excellence and citizenship in U.S. history. And for Mr. Betts, we like to congratulate the students who we presented FMA on our math team this past weekend. Their, their spirit poster came in second place in the competition, which is awesome. Also, it's great that we have students who are working hard to improve their own math skills, keep studying and practicing for the spring competition. And thank you, Mr. Betts, for giving us this giving up his week to support these students. It's American Education Week and we'd like to take a minute to say thank you to the adults who work in the building. Students, remember that your teachers are human beings with thoughts, dreams, and feelings. All teachers want you to learn and grow up to be successful and happy adults. Right? That's all teachers. Let's everyone stop for one moment right now and think of something positive that you can say to your teachers. Some ideas say thank you for having fun lessons. Say thank you for putting up those kids' behavior. Say thank you for caring. Say thank you for sh showing up every day. Tell your teacher that they did a good job. You'll be surprised at how this might impact your day. Teachers, paraprofessionals, cafeteria staff, custodial staff, 
office staff, and administrators, thank you. From the Dolphin Daily News crew, we do appreciate you. That's it for today's Dolphin Daily. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.